Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to be making some videos to go over what we've been learning for the past two weeks. So this, so the videos are going to be in parts. So today this video is going to be about what we learned in the first few weeks on how to initialize motors and how to start writing joystick control. So let's just get started with writing, um, figuring out how do we initialize motors. So once again, when you initialize a motor, you go to the top right corner and you click this button. When you click this button, you're going to click Add Device. And you're going to go to Motor. And whatever motor you get, you want to ask your uh, when you wire, you want to see what port it is in. So let's say it's in port three. So we're going to click on port three, and then you'll see there's these different gear cartridges. So the gear cartridge red is 100 RPM, green is 200 RPM and blue is 600 rpm so depending on what gear cartridges you're using you would set it accordingly so let's say it's usually people use 200 rpm so we'll set it to 200 rpm and let's say you want to reverse the port or not so you'll be able to click that button and then we'll click and then we'll change the name to front left we we'll click done and then we're going to do that again for the next motor so let's say our next motor is in port 12 so we're going to change this name to front right we're going to say okay, it's 200 rpm and then click done and then add a device go to motor we go to let's say it's in port 16 call this back left click done and add another last motor say that's in port 20 and say this is back right now that is done so now we have all the motors that are initialized now we also have to initialize our controller so we're going to just initialize the controller here we're going to click done so now we have the four base motors and the controller initialized so now we're going to move on to creating include an src file so include files usually contain the dot h files aka the header files and the src file aka the source file includes the cpp files so we're going to go to include we're going to click new file and then we're going to go to the c++ header file dot h so when we do that we're going to call this op, op control dot h and remember you always want to name it dot h and create and we're going to do the same for src we're going to do new file and we're going to do source file dot cpp we're going to name it the same as we named our dot h so we're going to do op control dot cpp and we're going to create this so now that we have created our main dot cpp our op control dot h and our op control dot cpp we're going to go into our op control dot h and we're going to start writing some code in here so if you remember reading lessons 0 to 3 you'll remember that header files usually have declarations because when your code starts getting a lot bigger you want to start um, organizing it more neatly so having header files as the place of declaring methods and variables it's easier to figure out what variable or what method you need to use the, for a certain case so for now we're going to start with initializing or, or start with yeah, initializing our operator control for joysticks. So we're gonna go to, um, we're gonna say void joystick control control, and then we're gonna do parentheses void, and then semicolon, and that's about it. And then we're gonna go to op control and we're gonna do, and we're gonna say have include vex h so that's the predefined class for vex and we're going to do include um op control dot h and my my bad you do not really need semicolons here and we're going to build so everything gets compiled and we don't have to save again just in case our program shuts down so we don't lose any process so now we're going to move on to writing the actual joystick control in the op control class. So let's say we're going to first do using namespace vex. 
So what this basically does is you don't usually need to now do vex tasks like sleep or something like that. Instead, you can just do tasks sleep, which is very helpful when you start writing a lot of code because then you it gets really repetitive and it's not as fun to do. So using namespec space vex. So we're going to go back to OP control and we're going to see, okay, this is how we declared it. So I'm just going to copy and paste right here. And you really don't need the void, by the way. And now we're going to start writing the joystick controls. So the way the joystick control works is if you remember, there are axes labeled on the joystick itself. So let's say that we want to do something like um, tank control. So that means the left side of the stick controls the left side of the motors and the right side of the stick controls the right side of the motors. So we will remember from our previous experiences that axis 3 controls the y-axis of the left side and axis 2 controls the y-axis for the left side, meaning that is how we're going to control it because our values come from the y-axis of both sides. So for example, we're going to do motor uh, front left dot spin. We're going to use a spin feature. We're going to spin it forward at and the velocity is going to be based off controller one dot axis three dot position. And then we're going to use it as percentages because we want to set the value at a certain percentage. Now we're going to do the same for the right side. So we're going to do front right dot spin forward. We're going to use controller dot axes to this time because this is the right side dot position and then we're going to do percent and now we're going to do the same for back except what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this paste it right here and we're going to change this to back left change this to back right and that's about it or joystick control here. Now that we have joystick control initialized in our um, operator control.cpp, we're just going to compile this. So and um, we should get an output soon. When we start building, as you see in your output, there's nothing to be done. It's completed. There's no compilation errors. So we're going to go to main.cpp and right below include vex.h. We're going to put another include and we're going to include operator control dot h in here as well. So we can access the methods that we have created in operator control dot cpp inside of the main cpp file. So now we're going to go to void user control and we're going to go into the while loop because we want this repeating every so few times and we're going to type in here joystick control and then once you do that and you put it right here very good you have now officially created joystick control inside of your program and some few tips is if let's say there's an error let's say i forgot a semicolon all you really need to do is you'll see in the problems task and you open this bar, you can see that you have an error in operator control. And when you try to build a program and you go to output, see building error and you go to output, you'll see, okay, here you go. SRC operator control has an error expected semicolon after expression and it'll tell you where. And so then when you go there, you'll see, oh, Okay, I'm missing a semicolon. So you're just going to put a semicolon in, and that's it. So if you have any questions, remember uh, just to pin, uh, tag me in Discord, and I'll gladly appreciate to help you. So I hope this guys helps in your learning process, and I hope to see you guys soon. And just to see, now that we fixed that um, issue, now that we'll, we'll see that we got a building success so yeah that's about it and also remember that you always want to turn on enable expert autocomplete this will help you write code faster as it fills in the blanks for you while you're typing something so 
right. Thanks, guys. See ya.